new finished object, sock. Tiny little bag, and in this bag, I have a pair of socks and a sock. <laughs> They are so, so cute. And if you watch my episode 96, I think. Yeah, I was showing you a box at this one. And I was hoping that I'm going to mix two colors together. So basically start with this one, just toes, and then continue with the body with a different color. But I did a bit and I just ah, fell in love with the color and I just could not stop. So I was knitting these, but I made a boo-boo. <laughs> Before I tell you how I knit the sock, just to, you know, be on the good track, I'm going to show you the yarn, and this is my leftover from all. However, like I said, I knitted on the sock with it, accidentally. <laughs> so the yarn we're talking about is a Patton's Croy Socks. If you've ever knitted with it, I'm not saying this color, but this brand. Let me know down below how many socks have you knitted, do you remember the color name or maybe just a color per se, I would say it's a mixed pink color. <laughs> but actually the color over here is, um, you know, I'll check the screen under the barcode Rouge Jaguar. Jaguar? <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, so I have a bit left and I'm planning to do stuff and I'm going to tell you in a sec. So, I casted on 40, well, I casted on 12 stitches and I did um, my standard toe, which is in the free tutorial, step by step steps tutorial down below link, or I will always leave it at the end of the video, somewhere here. Um, and I increased to 48 stitches. I knit, was knitting a tube, I did one by one rib and I did triple of bind off because with 48 stitches it's just a glimpse to do it and kind of kind of gives you uh, that repetition mode so I would say if you can knit 48 54 and you do not like triple I bind off maybe I'll leave the tutorial at the end too and down below uh, it is a good thing to knit socks because 48 stitch especially with this this is kind of a support, heavy sports weight I'm going to show you in a sec why because that way you're kind of maintaining the knowledge you have. If I stopped doing tubular bind off for, let's say, a month, I would have to look it up my tutorial. Uh, but somehow, because I was finishing my sweater in the bottom and I used that, and then I used that for this sock, um, I kind of maintaining that knowledge how to do it. And the same thing, how to do magic cast on. That's what, how, well, this is what I do normally over here. Um, so yeah, so then I went back, cut the yarn in the middle to do a afterthought heel. So basically, tutorial down below link two, you put one needle, another needle uh, through the first, you link the second and you put the third row and then you cut the second row, just one stitch over there in the middle to open up and then you knit in the round. Just to, in a glimpse how to do it, I would say better to watch the video first. Um, so yeah, and then I cast it on a second one. No, not this one. And I cast it on this one. And as you see, this is just a basic uh, before you put afterthought heel, so maybe that's quite interesting. But somehow I increased the stitches, so over here, to more than 48, and I ended up with 56. <laughs> so this is how you normally do it. So you knit tube until you think that's fine, or you run out of yarn. That's why I like also toe ups. Um, and especially in case, Afterthought heel in case you make a hole in the heel, you can just rip the heel and put the heel back. That's why I also like afterthought heel to put at the end. Because if I had it during the knitting, it's more complicated, possible to fix the heel. But you know, easier better. And then I finish it and I realize that I have more than usual. Because when you do that afterthought heel, you have to pick up stitches. And with 48, I had to pick up 24. Am I right? I think so, yeah, that's a half of the stitches. And somehow, I was like, I have too much. I would definitely would have to pick more. And then I counted. Basically, the best thing to count how many stitches you have is to go back to the ribbing and just mark maybe a one stitch. 
count this one, go back, do not count this one, and then you will know how many you have. So I had a dilemma. I checked how many um, yarn I how many yarn I have left, and I had 41 grams. I weighed my first sock, which is 31 grams. And I thought, yeah, yeah, I can knit the third one. And I did, I knit the third one. That means I have a lovely pair. The sock is slightly smaller than I would want when I do, and when I hold fingering double. Like I said, this is um, sport weight. So it's something between fingering weight and a double knit weight, so DK weight. So I was just chancing, but I knew if it's going to go a little bit small, I know who's going to get that. So definitely this is a gift knit. So just to be aware and especially to double check when you get patent scroll sock, how much meterage or yardage you have in the 50 gram balls because that's what I get, 50 gram balls, not 100. So, where is it? Yeah. So any yarn you have, you can chain, check the content. So we have 75% wool and 25% nylon over here. It says washable, so super wash. And then underneath that, you have information that it's approximately 152 meters, which is 166 yards. So normally what I do, hello? <laughs> okay, so normally what I do with, so normally what I do with the 50 grams, I multiply it by two. So 152 meters gives me 304 meters. And that's, little meterage because normally for fingering we would have 400 meters is a fingering although 365 maybe you know depends how tight or loose you knit it will go through it but even 425 meters that's fingering very thin fingering weight but it's kind of fingering um so yeah having just 304 you know it's little that means that the yarn is thicker well, so I thought, let's test it and see if 48 stitches will give me the same gauge that I'm getting when I hold fingering double without actually doing any math. It was basically knitting a sock and checking on it. So uh, that's a risk that people may take, <laughs> or you can just do the math if you want to. But I just want to do it. I knew that I have a few friends around here who has thinner, smaller feet than I have, so it would not be a problem if that at the end figures that the sock is not for me. So yeah, so it's a little bit small, I can definitely fit into it, but let's not push it. Let's not push it. So what I'm going to do with 56, it is kind of loose, I'm not sure it will fit me properly, but I need to put a heel first. And to do that, because I don't want to rip it, although I could, uh, I was thinking that, as you can see, I have a similar... Um, color, no, yarn, no, <laughs> technique, the yarn was dyed um, over here, but in a different color. And this color is also, that's aqua jaguar. So check out. So on the screen, you can see it. And what I was thinking, I was thinking that I'm going to knit a sock like this without a heel with this ball with this skein. And what I'm going to do then, with the leftovers that I have over here, I'm going to make a heel. And with these leftovers, I'm going to make a heel for the sock I'm going to knit. So it will not be matchy matchy per se, but it will. Do you think that's a good idea? Let me know down below. Um, or I could actually frog it now because I have, I feel this content, content? I feel that I accomplished something with the pair, so I think it does not hurt that much to frog this one now. Uh, it would if I have just one sock over here and I would have to frog this to knit a second one. Um, but just having that option gave me that ease and, you know, like feeling good about myself. So we shall see how it goes. I will be waiting for you to let me know down below, so please do. And meanwhile, I think I'm going to cast on another uh, pattern scroll sock, which will be at this one. And the color over here is Sporty Stripes. I think it's going to give a beautiful, beautiful sock. And I'm thinking now, 48 wasn't for me. 56, it's too big. I should go 54. 
I'm now doing two by two rib, so you can divide it by two, that gives me, um, that shouldn't be a problem. 54 by two will give me 27 stitches, and that's what I'll be picking up um, on the side. So yeah, I think I'm doing the math right. I haven't thought it through, to be honest. So let me know down below. Um, and just let you know, this beautiful yarn I got from my viewer and a long time friend, Diane. So I thank you so much. I'm going to cast that on because that's project to just work something. Don't think about anything. Working around, quick knit, and you feel good. Okay, that's it in my art socks. I hope the next one will be my finished hat. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and let me know what do you have on your needles. Bye.